Hey guys, and welcome to part 6 of the Injustice playthrough. We have just defeated Damien Wine. And we sincerely apologise for anyone that was grossed out by Andrew's uh, colourful vocabulary. <laughs> yeah, apologies for that folks, but it just slipped through my mind. <laughs> okay, seriously, what the fuck are these things? <laughs> they look like giant shrimps or lobsters or something. <laughs> You know, for someone who's a king of the seas, they really did a good job of making sure the most obscure creature to fight against this, the regime here. <laughs> we <Wee>. Keki's boss. <laughs> Meanwhile, back down below. <laughs> Who's in the left? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's R. Bruce. No, that's his actual name, R. Bruce. R. Bruce. <laughs> Or is it ro uh, Robberus? Hmm. Ten points if you get the reference, folks. That must be weird, like, meeting, like, a alternate reality version of yourself. yourself. Aye. And what is it they say about time travel? Well, do you know what? That's not... That's... No, that doesn't really count for because this is not time travel we're dealing with. It's a different world. Yeah. Bitch, I'm Batman. <laughs> he has a spider sense. <laughs> No, what happens here is Raven's possessing the Green Arrow. Ah, uh, right. It has to be the Happy Pill suit. I don't think Batman can actually catch an arrow. <laughs> eh, I don't know. Bullshit! What's next, four arrows? <laughs> no, it's just that third one should have got right through his shoe. Right, so instead of having an alternate universe green now, we have to they have to make him mind control our green now so we can have a fight against him. <laughs> because their version wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that move them with the grapple gun smacking them to guard. Hi, Deadshot. <laughs> There's Deadshot right there. Robocop! <laughs> yep, I'm in this game too. <laughs> um, can I borrow your shotgun? No? Yeah, you can. You can. As actually a stage interaction, you can pick up the shotgun and fire it for one shot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And if you remember that robot metal that we saw earlier, you can pick him up. Well, if you're a gadget character, you bounce off him. But if you're a power character, you can use him and smack the opponent down. <laughs> you're about to become a pincushion. You're testing my patience. There you go with the battle of the vigilantes. Who's the better vigilante? Would you say? Batman. Mainly because of because he's a god. He's got the money and the gadgets. All Oliver has is a bow and arrow and trick arrows. Mind you, he does have a few good ones like buzz saw arrows and a boxing glove arrow. Oh, okay. I'm not kidding. And <laughs> and I'm surprised the CW actually got away with that when the he was fighting this boxer named Ted Grant, I think the character's name was. Mm -hmm. And then he does what he does is that he does this roll thing to get out of the way, stabs the arrow into a boxing glove, and then uses it as a projectile and gets a punch in the head. <laughs> Then again, the Justice League Unlimited cartoon excuse where he's like, it's like, Green Arrow, why do you have a box now? Well, do you ever want to really punch someone really far away? <laughs> and that's the excuse why he has a boxing glove arrow. Oh, that is going to be 10 cans of Ironbrew tomorrow morning. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Batman loves his angry. No, I was talking about Green Arrow. Oh, he's back to, well, he's Batman back to loves it too. <laughs> I don't think he's he's too American for Iron Brew. That should be in, that should be the new advertisement slogan right there. <laughs> too American for Iron Brew. <laughs> well, look what I found. Time to oh, here's our next fight. Hi, Hal. Still digging the yellow. You know, you really good with pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are pink lanterns. Yes, they are. Really. And their emotional ex their emotional power is love. I should have guessed. Yep. <laughs> now here's an interesting fight here. The guy who can pull anything he wants out of his fucking belt versus the guy who can pull anything he fucking wants out of his mind. <laughs> then Mary Poppins comes in with her me magic handbag. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Parasite, you're not gonna jump over that electric fence? No? Okay. Shoot yourself then. It just likes a view. Oh shit. Oh, where have we been teleported to? <laughs> bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round. 
How the fuck could Spider? I was about to say Spider Man, <laughs> Batman. Yeah, yeah, so the yeah, Batman's totally Spider Man all along. <laughs> oh, prepare for so much hate mail, Colin. <laughs> oh yeah, time to bring out the Batmobile. I bet you Hal John inside right now, right now here is going not the Batmobile. <laughs> And again, what's stopping him from making a Batmobile of his own? A yellow one? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Knee to the face. Knee of justice. Superman is the enemy, Hal. Not me. Therefore, I am Batman. Therefore, I am never evil. Now yeah, you see that? that how evil our Superman is. He's ruthless. A giant green hand. <laughs> yeah. Remember, the, main, the rain lets you make up whatever you want. Why not like a big trampoline or cushion? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, trampoline! Trampoline! <laughs> Who else remembers Hurricane Ball Bag? <laughs> <laughs> so Aquaman can stand a chance against Superman, but Superman will ultimately win, ultimately win in the end. He's fucking Superman, of course. <laughs> He's oh, like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, I'm fighting Superman. Shit. <laughs> a Green Lantern could potentially beat Superman. It just depends on the user of the ring. Well, he can create everything, can't he? But the problem with Hal Jordan uh, himself is that he's not very creative enough. So he needs to have a good imagination? Yes, if you want to defeat the Man of Steel. But then again, the most logical one will be Kryptonite. That's what I was just thinking. Why not like just imagine like a big... Damn, like... <laughs> Like planet full of like kryptonite or something like that. <laughs> Hi, Clark. Like he did. This isn't about Joker. It's about you. Digging those shoulder pads. <laughs> so many lives lost. Yeah, the, look at these shoulder pads. Ice cream dictatorship. <laughs> and then I'm like, where'd you get that outfit? <laughs> Target or Walmart? <laughs> no, he says Trump Industries. <laughs> Trump Industries. You weren't the gun. My parents are dead! Well, so are mine. <laughs> Doesn't make you special. <laughs> oh, that remind that scene that reminds me of that one in Superman 2 where he. What happened? No, it was not Superman 2. I think it was the first movie. It's even one of those two where Lois dies, he goes on a rampage, and he goes around the orbit of the Earth so fast. That it, it goes back and it causes the, to, the rotation of the earth to go back in time. So he can go back and save Lois again. Was that like one of the classic Superman movies? Yeah, like um, J Christopher Reeve Superman with the John Williams score. That's one hell of a megaphone. <laughs> <laughs> if he's able to hear it for there. Well, can't he like, hear things from like miles away? Three hours earlier. Guess who we're playing as? Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor. <laughs> is he gonna wear like that big fancy suit? Of course. Why is he wearing protective gear then? I don't like playing as Luthor. Is he just too slow and clunky? Yeah, he, like I said before, he's the Bowser of the game. Like powerful and clunky, but also really, really fucking slow. And that means like his movement speed, his dashes, his jumps, all slow. Mm. I'm sure there's at least like some people that could probably use him properly. Yeah, with a bit of practice, but I'd say he's one of the hardest to master. Like he's the character that would take like way longer than other characters to get to some professional usage usage of. I wouldn't be surprised if this was if the city was a rebuilt metropolis, considering that all the regime flags are all over the place. All right, time for a new trailer for Die Hard Six. <laughs> oh shit! Am I going to make it? Am I fast enough? No! Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oof! It's a bit brutal, wasn't it? Aye. Then again, I think he was just shrug it off because if you paid attention in the previous cutscene when he got his suit on, he actually took two happy pills. I thought they were constipation pills. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's super, super strong now. 
then again, some in some continuities of Lex Luthor, he was he did somehow manage to gain Superman's abilities. Has he managed to get that? Comic books. Hi, Joker. Nice fancy truck. <laughs> it's a regime truck. Humpty Dumpty fell through a truck. Humpty Dumpty sued his arm. Love the colour. Aww. <laughs> Censorship. It is quite spiffy. Unless you want Superman to succeed, step aside. Here, yeah, wasn't that isn't that confusing to you, Colin? That looks Luffer looks like Bruce Willis, or Bruce Willis looks like looks like Lex. <laughs> <laughs> that Bruce Willis looks looks like Lex Luthor. <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Surely got me. I don't think so. So now we're fighting Harley. Yeah, we're fighting Harley because they still think that they don't not yet realize that um, Luthor is part of the insurgency because they because they always saw him as Superman's best buddy. Because we all know that in the early on it was established that he was a mole. Mm -hmm. Well, a mole for the insurgency. Here, have a DeLorean Harley. <laughs> well, even that's look at that statue in the back then. The, the smug is on top of the earth. That is such a massive eagle. Yeah. Well, he's called Superman, isn't he? Well, not... Well, do you know what? If I was living in this universe, I wouldn't know what Superman is considering. He's been a dictator about everything. So yeah, this is one of the few times where I actually took some time to practice with Luthor actually to figure out how he works, considering he's one of the hardest characters to master. And yeah, that is an axe. At first I thought it was a stop sign. <laughs> so he hit, he took, he got whacked in his fingers with a mallet and yet he walks off. <laughs> Surely Harley was not going to stand a chance like with legs and a giant mech. Well, then again, happy pills. Everybody, I would favor, just go with the logic, Colin. Ev right, pretty much every character that's not a metahuman or a, or strength buff has taken the happy pill. Uh, I'm just going to stop questioning it now. He's <laughs> got a knife. Here's Joker being Joker. Going to kill Harley because he failed her. <laughs> yeah, who's got the taser? No, bitch. <laughs> the uh, the one time you actually see the two villains fight each other, how about that? I feel like some like fans that like proper fanboys over this. Probably. <laughs> it's like seriously, Joker, you're up against a fucking mech suit. You, this is well, you know, you may stand a chance against this guy compared to against Superman, but. <laughs> Oof. A fucking car. <laughs> right smacks across the head. <laughs> He's already mad anyway, I'm sure it didn't affect him. Aye. I think it, I don't think anything can make Joker good in a way. He's just crazy no matter what. Hey, we knocked the Superman statue. <laughs> he looks pissed. <laughs> don't you love how the DeLorean constantly spawns above there? Just likes getting a good, a good view. Yeah, let's see if I can pick it up again. Maybe not. Your humor eludes me. I'm reminded of that. One of the quotes is, um, I think it's someone else, and then Luther says, "I am more than that. I am Bruce Willis." <laughs> Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> Upper cut to the chin. Maybe Superman had the right idea. Hmm. I'm not sure. Because the problem, well, do you know, the problem is psychologically is that yeah, you want the Joker gone because therefore he will not cause any trouble. But then that's his that's his own ultimate goal. It's to prove that anybody can go crazy just as me. He knew exactly which buttons to push. It's not your fault. It's what he does. Damn PG-13 rating! <laughs> so this was a 15, it would have happened. Yeah, probably with a lot of blood and all over the place. Not considering it's the Neverum stu Studios developers. Here's a little fun fact. See, after Harley reveals, is found out how, how this Joker treats her. Here's a little attention to detail. She actually drops the whole squir squeaky voice and all that, and talks normally. Does she? Aye, she drops it. Because like we said, when this universe Joker died, she became good, not mm -hmm. mad. 
green versus yellow, who, which of it's going to be. I don't know about you, but I think blue is going to bring <laughs> put it on top. <laughs> no, no, green all the way. I care about the earth. <laughs> Ah, uh, Black Adam and Hot Girl. And I said Hawk, not Hot Girl. <laughs> yes, I can fly too. <laughs> well, not really, because then you have to rely on technology, Bruce. Then again, you are fighting gods. Seriously, how do you miss something that big? <laughs> <laughs> Shit aim. That's what it is. What if this? What if out of nowhere just a random car goes by? BB. <laughs> the DeLorean. <laughs> no, I'm talking about one of those um cars in Coruscant that fly. Oh uh, yeah. Or Roadrunner. Aye. Beep beep. It just looks all right of place. I think it could work. I mean, it's. Wait. Yeah, Warner Brothers owns the Looney Tunes set, isn't that right? Yeah. And Disney, DC are part of Warner Brothers. I was about to say Disney there. Disney, yeah, that, that's Marvel. <laughs> yeah. It's, fu it's funny that like Marvel and DC are like big rivals, and so are Disney and Warner Brothers. Like the pretty much like the companies that own them, so they already they always had like that rivalry, didn't they? But well, are they more like friendly rivals, or are they straight up competitive, like they hate each other kind of rivalry? Well, I don't think they hate each other because in the movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit, uh, like Warner Brothers and Disney like actually worked together. Like you actually see Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse in the same scene together. I for a few cameos. I mean, imagine that the whole television episode where you can actually see them for the entire adventure. Yeah. And if you're wondering what's that, then the background that's Wonder Woman's invisible jet. Which I'll be honest, I don't know why she needs an invisible jet. She can fly anyway. Exactly. But then comes the then comes another question: How does she know where it is if it's invisible? And why is it invisible? <laughs> like you, you look a bit awkward, like just sitting there flying up. Exactly. It's invisible. <laughs> Imagine like the Harry. It's it'd be like that Harry that flying car Ford Angle in Harry Potter, except you everyone can see what you're sitting on. <laughs> And Snape like fucking loses it when he finds out that muggles have seen you. Silence! <laughs> Silence! Oh no, not again, please. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love how his armor is censoring his face, facial expressions there. <laughs> Doctor the hand. Hey, look, there's a little rumba. <laughs> Like how those two ginormous people are like still fighting each other in the background. <laughs> and actually, one of the stage transitions, which it, it changes this between this and the hall, just is that uh, you can smack you smack. There's a robot on the right hand side. If you if your opponent hits that, the robot will throw the the competitor into the path of them two, and a uh, gigantic grabs you and then uses you while she's punching and smashing. <laughs> the day Superman decided to hurt us like sheep. He only wants what's best for us. We are his So sit down and bah. <laughs> He's no god. Oh, uh, it's Shazam again. By the way, this game takes a huge dump on him. Everyone doesn't like Shazam, do they? Well, now if I've had the problems that because Superman is a bit overshadowed, overpopulating him, that's why. I mean, at least he's finally getting recognized. I mean, he's getting a movie on the way. Is that 2019? They have, still haven't confirmed it yet. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. No, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shazam's character power basically it adds a little more electricity to his fist, so his attacks become stronger for a period of time. I uh, see. Okay. And someone would say that he's the Raiden of the game, considering he has a dash ability that's similar to Raiden. Hey, another statue down! <laughs> I love killing those statues. Wouldn't it be funny if you got like a, a trophy or an achievement for like knocking down all the statues in the game? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. And that up there is a replica of Mars, and Shazam just destroyed it. <laughs> and someone out there, Martian Manhunter, is crying. <laughs> Martian Manhunter was added later as a DLC character. Basically, he's one of the last of the Martians, and his power is that he's similar to Superman, except he has the added ability of shapeshifting him. What the hell, Luffy? What are you doing? <laughs> Collapsing to a child? 
What, like Tom and Jerry when that what was that one where Tom and Jerry's nephew is like a boss and then forces Jerry, non Tom, to go down on his knees and kiss his shoes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Booyah! Uppercut right to the face. Aye, that's just I'm down. No good. For the fourth time, I believe. <laughs> He's been taking quite a beating in this game, hasn't he? Well, like I said, this game does not like Shazam story-wise. <laughs> don't you love it when you build a suit of armor and then you have, you just have to give it an AI voice so you can so you don't feel lonely? <laughs> I bet it's like some sexy voice or something like that. No, actually, it's a male voice. Oh, I see. That's how it goes. It's not GLaDOS. <laughs> like I said, that's a that's one massive megaphone. <laughs> if he's able to hear him through that. And yeah, he only has one shot of this. He's like, he shouts, Superman, you're a dick! <laughs> and then just shoots him. Okay, let's see. <laughs> I can tell that insult really pissed him off. Yeah. Shazam, you fucking tool! <laughs> on, oh, it looks like BBC News is on the, on the report now. <laughs> After me, I don't like how the dark shadow on Shazam's model, though. Like the dark redness around his eyes. Does it look, just look a bit stupid to you? Uh, it looks a bit derpy. I trusted you. You betrayed me. Oh, he's going full Anakin now. <laughs> betrayed who? Please watch the head. <laughs> I've just buffed it this morning. <laughs> Don't bruise it. <laughs> you break it, you'll bought it. <laughs> Isn't it odd, actually, in some continuity, Luffy has long red hair? I know, what's with that? Pre-old pre comics, that's how he got his origin story came to be. And Luffy's dead. What a dick. And this is not going to be good for Superman because he just killed... Luffy right in front of the news. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so now everyone's gonna think, oh, why has he done this and all that? I mean, that'd be like your favourite doctor going out of his way to kill his companion right in front of you. Mm. <laughs> he's taking a fit. Nah, he's just had it. He doesn't know what to do because all the he can hear all the people screaming. And with that, we'll see you in the next part, folks.